Hello. All right. Uh, Starfield has just received the FSR3 update. Let's mute the game. It's useless anyway. All right. Let's test the frame generation technology on Starfield. Let's see what Bethesda has done. So the game is running, as you can see, in ultra wide. They fixed this, by the way. It's running in ultra presets, and as you can see, FSR3 and frame generation on. This will be a very short test, no science involved, just a quick test. All right, this is Aquila City, just landed. This is probably the city with the most NPCs. So, as you can see right now, this is a computer with uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM, the Ryzen 7 5800X3D, and the GPU, the Radeon 7900, XT, not XTX. So you can say it's the top of the line GPU for AMD side. We are just checking what frame generation is actually doing in this game. So as you can see, there is no stuttering whatsoever. The game is not on an NVMe drive. It's on a regular SATA SSD, a cheap one. Um, GPU utilization is capped at uh, 95 97%. I have the latest MSI after banner version which is actually capturing the right amount of frames for frame generation technology. This is the same frames that I can see with the Radeon overlay. Also, as you can see my CPU is quite under stress now. This is Aquila City and the shitty engine that Bethesda is using, the Creation Engine 2. As you can see the game is performing flawlessly uh, at 120 130 fps now this is uh, a resolution which is quite uncommon ultra wide 21 by 9 this is 2k plus uh, performance here is quite heavy anyway on the top of the line gpu so keep this in mind this is frame generation enabled 120 130 frames there are no stutterings. The UI is working incredibly well. Let us turn off the frame generation. And we got a crappy frame rate. We are 60, 70, and we are going even lower. So yeah, again, stuttering is gone. CPU utilization is pretty much the same so I guess frame generation is working very well in this game uh, this is probably the only good thing Bethesda's done so far let's see what they keep on doing with this game as you can see without frame gen we barely barely keep 60 frames on the game is ultra with no dynamic resolution so let's turn frame gen back on and here we are again we doubled the frame rate just this is what the technology does so it's no surprise almost doubled the frame rate so anyway this was a quick video just want to show uh, this it's very very good i hope many more games will support fsr3 on launch as well as frame generation i guess this is it very quick very short very concise let me know what you think in the comments down below.